So we've got our basic comp now with a media feed on top of a background CG element. But we can see the media feed is on top of everything and we actually need some things like this desk to be in front of it. So we're going to use a mat to do that. So again, if we go to our comp, add layer element, and we're going to select as the LCG mat. That creates this mat element, and we'll call that mat. And what we need to do with the mat is that we need to select some elements to appear in the mat. So at the moment it's everything. We don't want that. So the way we do that is by layers. So if you don't have layers already, you go to Window, Layers, and it'll appear. And now we click on Layers, and uh, I've got this foreground ready, but I'll delete that. And we're going to add a new layer. So in this case, we just want this desk to appear in our layer. So we select the desk. Now if we wanted more elements to appear, we would just select more things. And then if we right click inside layers, we're going to add selected elements to new layer and we'll call this layer foreground. So now we've got this foreground. And so if we go back to our mat, what we should now be able to do in our composure settings is in input, we can use this capture actors section and the actor set, we're going to select foreground. So we can see now this desk appears, so that's looking great. And what we want in this case, you get two options with the mat. You get a hold out, which means keep that area, or a garbage, which means cut it out. And we want to cut it out. So that's our mat now set up. Now, final thing we need to do we need to add our mat to our final comp. So for that we go back to our top comp and to its material and we open up the material and we can see here in this over section we've got this input for a mask. And so that's what we want to do with our mat. So we're going to again add another texture parameter 2D and in this case We'll call it mat. And then in this case, we just need to drag from the R because it's a single color. And see, and we just add this into mask. And now apply. And now when we go back, the difference we can see here is now this lady is behind the desk. So the desk has essentially been cut out of the media panel, so it looks like she's now sitting behind it. So it's a clever trick, and now it creates the realism we want in the scene.